Hello and welcome to the Tarkus Zone. Thank you for joining me. Today we're going to be playing the game Meet Your Maker and we're going to be talking about Harvey's Pathing. And I had a YouTube subscriber ask me, can you have two pathing, two separate pathings for Harvey? Can ha Harvey have a second exit uh, versus his entrance? And the answer is yes. You can change the pathing of Harvey and you do it with uh, the second wave blocks uh, well, with the corrosive cubes. So let's just take a sky view here of what I've made here. So I've just made this little death box here with the corrosive cubes. And Harvey, as you can see, he's walking a valid pathing. And that valid pathing just does this in a weave kind of thing until he gets to the gamite. And I just did this for the sake of uh, explaining it to you. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here. Now these cubes here on the ground are half second wave on them. And I'm going to hit T to test this. And you'll see um, that Harvey now is going in this direction. So Harvey's going to walk the shorter length to get to the gamut. And then he's going to just go back. And how this is helpful to you, and this is something that you want to think about with your strategy is, if Harvey dies at any time, it's going to be really hard to find your way out of this thing. Obviously, dur during the first phase, not a problem. But during the second phase, if I were to grab this and... Uh, and activate the second phase of the of the dungeon, right? I'm gonna have a hard time getting through this, right? I, to get out of the building. So I'm not gonna go through here. I'm gonna have to find another way out of the building. And that other way out of the building is the new Harvey path. But get this, part of your strategy is, uh, this back end of Harvey's path could actually be a detailed labyrinth like a maze. And then you do something to kill Harvey. You make sure Harvey doesn't live long in second phase. And I don't know how you do it, but you, you figure out a way, or they, or, or the player kills Harvey. Uh, either way, if the per, or if the person Lee, you know, decides. I mean, because if you're secondary, let's say your secondary Harvey, um, your secondary Harvey path is a 19-minute journey to an epic maze you've created, right? So they pull the gamut, right? And then Harvey's paths change. So you might not see Harvey again for like almost 20 minutes, depending on what you've done with the secondary pathing you've made for the second Harvey valid path. And you could create a huge maze. And somebody could get lost in that maze before they even see Harvey again, or you find a way to kill Harvey so that they never could figure, they can't follow Harvey out. So that's the thing is, is if you, if he's not, so it's going to be come down to you having to memorize where you're at in the maze that you've created. And within that maze, you create traps and whatnot. So, so basically you've got a primary uh, route that Harvey's going to take during the first phase and then a secondary route that he takes during the second phase. And that secondary route, you can make it so uber big and so hard to navigate like for just like a, a, a regular labyrinth, like a maze. Uh, so that maybe if they pull the gamite when Harvey's just down here and, and it takes Harvey 20 minutes to do the secondary route, they might get lost and never see Harvey again, even if you if you as a designer haven't figured out a way to kill Harvey. You know, that's just the way uh, the second pathing works. You can have a primary pathing, secondary pathing, and that's how that works. And I hope that answers the question, can Harvey have an exit path? And yeah, I mean, because his exit path, you know, if you're doing this for real, you make the exit path somewhere way over here in the back. So, and that's, this is where Harvey exits and then walks maybe around the building to get here. But before he exits to the back, you have this super huge, you know, massive maze that people have to navigate. <laughs> All right. Because I mean, think about it this way. Most raiders are going to memorize how they got in and they're just going to follow their way out. Cause they're like, Oh, I figured out how to get in here. But in this situation, it's going to be very hard for them to follow their way out. If you design something like this, 
um, so that they can't actually leave the way they, they came in. All right, well, hopefully this was helpful, and uh, thank you for joining me. This has been the Tarkus Zone.